Oh yes, I can rock this nicely. Hey everyone and welcome back to Kenji Martial Arts. Now what is this awesome piece of headwear you ask? Well it's a hat, you wear it on your head. What else did you expect, a flying elephant? Many, many thanks to Sensei Mal Sanchez Jones at Goshin and Kudo Academy UK. It's very much appreciated. Links down below. Please, please go and support him if you aren't subscribed already. They're this close from hitting their 1,000 subscriber mark. Please help them reach it. Now, on to today's oh so serious topic how martial arts can be so equally unequal. Mostly unequal, with some equality sprinkled throughout. Make sense? Let me explain. On the one hand, we have equality in martial arts. Everyone wears the same-ish uniform, the cool kids opt for the black gi, and everyone is taught the same information. Everyone's taught in the same room, and everyone is taught the same syllabus. Egos and higher-than-thou attitudes are highly discouraged among students. So, all in all, seems pretty fair, doesn't it? Not exactly. There is a lot of inequality too. Now, don't get me wrong, some of it comes with the territory. Knowledge and experience always means for a better martial artist overall, and the way that they are treated. But the real problems comes with things like belts, rankings, the various styles of martial art, teachers, and even the country that you train in. Now honestly, with belts and rankings, they're a bit rubbish. For example, I'm a showdan, yet when I spar with the guy in my class who's lower ranked but is a former professional full contact fighter, I get my ass handed to me. Which, all in all, is pretty equal. His experience in this area outmatches mine. Now, if we were in a stuck up traditional martial arts class, much like my old Taekwondo school, there would always be excuses upon excuses as to why the lower graded belt won. There would be excuses upon excuses as to why the victory didn't really count. They'd say things like your stance was poor, you breathed incorrectly, you kicked at the wrong angle by a few degrees, when in actuality it was their ego that was damaged. Where is the equality? Now if the higher belt would have won, then it would be considered a lesson, a chance for the lower student to learn from their betters. What a load of bullshit. Now in large organisations there will be a 10th or 12th or whatever Dan at the very top of the organisation. They'll be the one in charge, they'll be the one deciding everything, their word is final. Yet they have more say in what happens in the day to day teaching than the people who actually teach. My Taekwondo instructor wouldn't change or improve upon anything that was actually learnt because that's not the way he knows it. That's not the way he was taught and was made to follow. Now don't get me wrong, he was far from being a good instructor, but his instructor was literally not alive anymore, yet they had more say than he did. But because my instructor followed the way, he had his high and lofty place in the organisation and made sure everyone knew about it. Bloody ego, back at it again. Now we wear the same-ish uniform, but there are people who literally spend hundreds and hundreds on getting a high quality, high class gi. Whether they wear it as a fashion statement, but they more likely wear it as a symbol of their undying authority. I'm more important, so I wear the better gi. Or only the instructors or the assistant instructors can wear a certain type of gi and everyone else must wear pure white. Clearly making distinctions in the class hierarchies make themselves feel better. Then there's inequality in styles and arts. There is so much hate online for certain martial arts, and that is only hate for hate's sake. Oh no, no knockouts in point style sparring, especially in the Olympics, oh no. And God forbid anyone in Aikido for actually learning striking. And oh no, what would happen if Tai Chi practitioners actually started sparring? Oh the shame, because they don't. Again, this is rubbish. Point style sparring is a very specific game. Not my cup of tea, not the sort of thing that I do or like, but people like it and it got to the world stage, so leave them be with that. Now, I can understand why Aikido can get a bad reputation, especially with those bad Steven Seagal films, but the one Aikido instructor that I have trained with can literally have anyone on the ground in pure agony before they even realise that they messed up. And with Tai Chi, well, now it's just used as movement and exercise for the elderly. So if you're mad at the elderly of society for not sparring, for not taking or giving out hits or feeling pain or pressure, then what the hell's wrong with you? Then lastly, there's inequality in certain countries. For a good example of where you'll be treated differently, look no further than Karate Stupid by Scott Langley. An absolutely fantastic read. Basically, Scott went to Japan and undertook hellish training to earn 
his JKS instructor certification. He went through sheer agony in discrimination in Japan purely because he wasn't Japanese. He was told he would never understand the concept of Bushido by one Japanese person, despite the fact they didn't even train in martial arts. He was alienated and made a scapegoat for any problems wherever possible, whenever he was not up to their impossibly high standards. All because he wasn't from the same country or grew up speaking the same language. From all of the above, we can see what is basically snobbery, egos, ranking, and whatever else you wanna throw into the pot getting in the way of people actually learning, teaching, improving, and actually having fun in martial arts. Why do people do this? It's boring and it wastes time. Friend of mine, Chris Hansen from Karate Unity, links down below, has a very good message for everyone. That we can accept all forms of training, all martial arts, and perhaps most importantly, we can accept all people. We can come together and be better than ever before and that's exactly what we should be doing. Sorry, I just had to have this rant. It's been gnawing out my brain for a while. The point style Olympic karate event is something worth another video for, so look forward to that. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit me up on my socials, and of course, I wish you all the best with your training. Take care.